guess I would say, you know, when you're walking around our neighborhood and enjoying all of the activities of South By, um, respect our privacy, uh, respect our property, um, be friendly, and think about how you would feel if this invasion were happening where you live or where your parents live or where your grandparents live. And I think the best way to improve uh, the image of Southwest and the foreigners and, you know, out-of-towners that invade our neighborhood would be for them to do some peer counseling. If, if, if they see some old lady out on her front porch with a sour look on her face and it's not you that's peeing in the property across the street, think about your own grandma and say, hey, don't be peeing in front of that grandma, please. Respect, you know, but then again, I'm just here, me and my daughter, trying to capitalize on this, on this, on this easy bucks, you know. Why not? You know what I mean? As long as the city or somebody doesn't come over here and say, hey, man, uh, y'all got a good thing going here. Y'all gonna have to pay $200, $300 to get a permit to be doing what y'all doing because we feel y'all making a tons of money. It's not a ton of money. Maybe in the four days, it's probably like close to seven hundred dollars if you're lucky. You know what I mean? It's, it's, there's some positive and negative, you know, because uh, 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 people come out here to my neighborhood and late at night, and they got they got a bottle of beer and instead of finishing it up and just tossing it on the ground. Why grab it and say, "Boosh," you know, and break it? I feel like they're doing that to be a Uranus, man. And, like say, there's a freaking east side, man. So, F it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like say, this ain't my neighborhood. Fuck all these little live motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel that they do when they do that. You know what I mean? Disrespecting my neighborhood. I mean, South by Southwest is great. It's a fantastic party. Um, it's really fun to see this many people in our town, uh, and it, it definitely like charges it with a lot of fun energy. Um, if you show up here and come to hang out and see the party and, and come for the shows, uh, you know you're here to have a lot of fun. If you live here, you might also be doing that, but you might also be working a lot too and uh, putting in time behind the scenes in a way. Um, there's obviously there's a lot of things like. You know, there's traffic and there's trash. Um, you know, I think it would be really cool to see Austin maybe take a step in a direction to uh, reduce that, just since Austin is already such an environmentally conscious city. Um, and it really, I think, could use South By as a great opportunity to set a really awesome, healthy new standard for how a city can throw a party. In regards to South by Southwest, I know that there's like, seems like there's sort of a back and forth between like official South by Southwest things and the unofficial. And what I would like to see is, is more, uh, more redistribution of activity go back to the populace who lives here. And that, you know, South by Southwest doesn't necessarily take control of the city and try to, you know, manhandle all the, all the little private venues that pop up. Let that unofficial stuff happen because that is the reason why people come here to South by. 
It is because of the magic of Austin, Texas. Where we at? We're on East 6th Street. East 6th Street. Ah, the East Side. I mean, honestly, it's 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 real. It's as real as it can get with young people and people that need the inspiration and people who still have an opportunity to grow and develop something that is completely unprecedented. Yet. South by is awesome. It brings together so many, so many awesome people. But I would say, please learn how to pick up your trash. It is absolutely horrible when this festival is over. There is so much trash everywhere. And there's, you know, those incredible people whose job it is to come and pick up after all the lazy bastards who just throw their trash wherever they see fit. You know, I just, I wish people in large numbers would take better care. You know, just I understand you're here to have fun, but you know, try to try to focus on the people around you and the people who live here too. It's so easy, you know, you fly back home, but there are people. This is their home, so respect. You know, you always got to respect when you're in someone else's home. My name is Fro Diddley from St. Louis, Missouri, and this is South by from the East Side, where all the cool kids hang out, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> This year, I was ready this morning to go videotape the trash, because that's what I did. I had my video, I went and showed it to people at the city. They got the sweepers committed, and I was shocked to see that 83-year-old Mrs. Ruiz on 3rd and Waller wasn't out having to sweep her own curbs. They brought those street sweepers all through the neighborhood down wherever there was a lot of parking and partying. I'm Lori Servanac Renteria, a Yankee by birth, Texan by choice, and Mexican by marriage. And I live here in the East Sussex Chavez neighborhood, the greatest neighborhood in Austin.